It's October, and you know what that means. Spooky months, woo! But let's be honest, spooky season starts in August, and no one can tell me otherwise. That's when I start getting hype and when the Halloween aisles start popping up in stores. Right next to the Christmas aisle! Ho, ho, ho. More like no, no, no. Get your ornaments and candy canes out of here. Only pumpkins and skeletons allowed until November. But yes, I love Halloween. It's been my favorite holiday for a long time. I love everything about it. The movies, pumpkin carving, the decorations, candy, trick-or-treating, but especially the costumes. I love dressing up as other characters. It's so fun. As a kid, I even had two costumes per year. Because my elementary school always did a Halloween party thing where they filled the cafeteria with games and built a haunted house and all the kids would come and run around and get candy in their costumes. So I would usually be one thing for that and then another thing for trick-or-treating. Some of my early costumes were a Care Bear, a Butterfly, a Fairy, Silver Mist from Tinkerbell, a Knight, just to name the ones I can remember. According to my mom, I was also Tinkerbell and possibly Tigger. But around fifth grade, I think it was, is when they started to get interesting because I developed a love for making my own costumes. It all started a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away when my dad had just showed me, you guessed it, Star Wars. And I decided I wanted to be Darth Vader. But we didn't just scurry on down to a spirit Halloween and pick me up a Darth Vader onesie looking thing. No, no, no. With a dad who's a techie and a sister who owns a sewing machine, we decided to craft me up the best Darth Vader costume ever. My dad made his chest piece thing with working lights and my sister made the cape and we got a mask that wasn't a cheap piece of plastic. What is that? I had black leather gloves, a lightsaber, we made these bits out of cardboard. It looked amazing. I actually still have the costume. It's right here, but of course it doesn't fit me. The mask is still wearable though. <laughs> the next year I was obsessed with Minecraft, so I wanted to be a Minecraft person. But I wasn't gonna wear a Fabric Steve costume, no, that'd be too easy. Instead, I hand-painted a costume out of cardboard boxes to look like the skin I was currently using in the actual game. This one. And I still have that one too. Ta-da! The next few years I took a break from going crazy with costumes. I was a fairy one year and toothless another year with just a ton of random dragon stuff I found and a mask my sister made me. The next year was... COVID. My family just all got onesies and we watched Halloween movies and ate candy all night. I was Stitch. The next year I got back into my costume craze and this was around the time my TikTok stuff started doing well, so I decided to be one of my old OCs. Galax. I sculpted the head out of foam, which I now know isn't the best material for costumes because mold. But it's not like I was gonna wear it a lot, so it was fine. I also used way too many bottles of acrylic paint on her horns and eye. To anyone watching who wants to make their own costumes, do not use acrylic paint on anything flexible. It'll crack and just not look good after one use, I know from experience. Anyway, I liked that costume a lot, but since it was my OC, no one got it. And it was very awkward to explain to anyone who asked. I still have it though. See, there she is. Just chillin'. And then we get to last year. My favorite costume yet. Moon from Security Breach. I love these three. I draw them all the damn time. I watch the show. I have my own little series. I am obsessed and I'm not afraid to admit it. But Moon is my absolute favorite. My dad thinks he's creepy, which... Fair. But I've always found creepy things cute, so... Mm. So of course I wanted to be him for Halloween. And with that, I got to work. For the face, I sculpted it out of air-dry clay. But since clay is fragile and heavy... I couldn't stop there. I needed it to be light and sturdy. My dad suggested that we could paint over the clay with thick layers of epoxy and then break away the clay to reveal a mask. And I wouldn't have to worry about it breaking. So that's exactly what we did. Once we had the base of the mask, I called upon my dad's techie skills to make his eyes glow. Ta-da! Thanks, dad! Now just drill some eye holes, slap some paint on that mother function, and add some straps and boom! Moon's got a face! For his chest and arm pieces, I decided to go with paper mache. Lots of template making, flowery messes, and drying time later, and we got a chest piece and arms! Paint, zipper, bells, body parts done. Now for his clothing. I got parachute pants and a blue hat off Amazon and painted stars on with fabric paint. The pants ended up being teal, not blue, but close enough, I'll fix it another year. For his skirt and frills, I got some blue fabric and just tried my best. And yes, I know his skirt is red, but again, maybe another year. Close enough. A few final touches later and boom, you got Mooney. I was so happy with this costume. I love it so much. I got a lot of compliments on it, along with some funny kid interactions. The only thing about it is I can't see very well at all with the mask on. The eye holes are two little slots between his mouth and nose and I can only see straight in front of me. I tripped on curves a lot. 
So you might be wondering what I'm being for Halloween this year. Well, no character has managed to steal Moon's place as my favorite, so he's back. Trick or treating, here I come. And with that, I hope you all have a great Halloween. And remember to brush your teeth, because I know we're all going to be scarfing down that candy. Hi. Um, this wasn't the plan. <laughs> this video was supposed to be done by the end of October. Uh, well, that didn't happen, did it? But hey, at least it's finally done. Two days before Christmas. Lovely. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this extremely late Halloween video. You may now return to your holiday stuff. Uh, yeah. Happy holidays. Bye.